In today's Leeds news, Sinistera exit details, slot comments on Somerville, and Jack Harrison on his Leeds future. Morning folks, Jerry here on Monday morning, the 5th of February with your Leeds United news. I hope everyone's had a really good weekend. Another win for Leeds United on Friday night. Extends that run to five wins in the calendar year in the league for Leeds and puts us in a really good position ahead of Ipswich again, who lost the weekend. They've still got a game in hand, but Leeds are in a much stronger position in that top three position and we keep moving forward. There's not a huge amount of information on the ground today. The window is closed, so all the transfer gossip and stuff has kind of gone away. But there are some details around potential exits from Leeds of players that are currently not at the club. Um, also, just to update everyone on this as well, the under-18s are in action on the 7th, two days from now, Wednesday night. Um, in the league, you can check that out if you want to. It is being broadcast live on LUTV. Be an interesting game to watch. They're a decent young side. Scott Gardner, who's the current under-20 manager, was the manager of the under-18 side. And a lot of that under-18 side will be expected when they move up to form part of the under-21 squad with some key additions that will be needed in an under-21 squad rebuild that's expected to happen. So keep an eye on that one. Uh, moving on, let's talk about the Luis Sinistera exit details. Last week, we told you that there were rumours that Bournemouth wanted to turn Luis Sinistera's loan move into a permanent deal. Now, according to reports coming out of Bournemouth, they are saying that both clubs are expected to meet in the coming weeks to discuss a deal to turn that move from a loan to a permanent for the player. Leeds are said to have made it very, very clear to Bournemouth that they will not accept anything less than the £21 million fee that they paid to Feyenoord in the summer of 2022 for the player. The player has been in really good form in recent weeks for Bournemouth. He's starting to get assists on a regular basis. He's clocked up some goals as well and is now starting games on a regular basis after early in the season. Uh, Andoni Ariola commented on his lack of fitness in a position to, to start games. He now seems to have sorted that out and is now pushing the team forward. Bournemouth have got an option to buy the player in the deal. It does have some contingencies. and doesn't <coughs> does have some... I've got a head cold and I can't talk properly. It does have some contingencies in, about that deal as well. It doesn't come into effect until the end of the season and only becomes active if Leeds are promoted to the Premier League. The reason for that would be if Leeds don't get promoted to the Premier League, the loan agreement or the loan clause that is still in his contract would become active again next season. People keep telling me I'm wrong on this and I'm not. I'm really not. I've checked this out. Any player that signed the contract last season or signed last season that had these loan exits in them, these loan exits will carry over for every season of that contract while Leeds are not in the Premier Division. But Leeds getting into the Premier Division, all those clauses become null and void. If Leeds stay in the Championship, there's no option to buy for Bournemouth. He'll probably go back out on loan to them. If he Leeds do get promoted, then the option to buy kicks in. The key thing here is that Bournemouth are said to try, want to try and avoid a saga in the summer where it would see Louis Sinister come back to Leeds first before any kind of a move could be completed. It would, it's not an obligation, which means that other clubs could get involved as well in the bidding war for the player who's having a, a reasonably good period in the Premier League right now could kick in. So Bournemouth are said to be very keen to get that wrapped up before they ever get to that stage in the summer. It puts the, it, 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 it puts the power very much in Leeds' hands to dictate a fee here. Bournemouth want the player and they want it done before the summer option kicks. In, which means Leeds can probably dictate what they want from the, t the team whether they can afford it is another thing and then the players wishes it as well he's probably happy there at the moment he seems quite happy there so we'll have to wait and see uh, is likelihood of returning to Leeds will be only on a temporary basis before he's either loaned out or sold again uh, based on comments that Angus Kinnear made in the Square Ball podcast where when he was asked about the relationship between the club and the player he said well put it this way he's not on our Christmas card list so there is some bad blood there around the uh, details and the style and manner of the exit that Luis Sinistera took from Leeds United <clears throat> moving on let's talk about a player who had been linked with a move away during, a, during the summer to Burnley, Cree, Somerville, and there was some small murmurings of interest in the player from Newcastle um, and in January, but nothing really public really came out from any credible sources. But now in, in Holland, Feyenoord manager and formerly linked with Leeds United manager, uh, Arna Slot has been speaking publicly about a failed attempt to get Cree Somerville in January. What's really interesting about this story is Daniel Farka has talked consistently about not talking about other clubs' players while they're under contract at those clubs. They're their players and people shouldn't talk about it and that he would like other clubs to respect that with Leeds players. Arna Slot has decided to not respect that and come out very publicly and talk about what he tried to do with Cree Somerville. Feyenoord have confirmed that they wanted to sign the player and Slot said that there was interest in the player but admitted that Leeds' valuation of the player was too expensive. Slot told Vopal Zone that he said that we haven't been able to find players to strengthen us in an attacking area and then he went on to say 
that it also is is important that the player fits the financial circumstances of Feyenoord and that the player himself would want to come and join the club. On Somerville himself, Arna Slot said the following, I would like to see Somerville on our side, but he's too expensive. I have found him an interesting player for a long time. It's As I said, it's an interesting thing for a manager to publicly talk about wanting to have a player at another club who isn't for sale and wasn't for sale. And they've already been told you can't have him unless you hit a certain fee. And they haven't been able to do that. Again, as Daniel Farkas said, it's disrespectful to talk about other clubs' players when they're not yours. It's interesting that Ernest Law has decided to go public with this after the window has closed. And maybe, maybe try and upset Chris Somerville uh, coming into a summer situation there as well. Although I would say this on, on Somerville. I think Chris Somerville has shown enough this year to think that he's probably better than Dutch football right now. I think if, if Somerville was going, likely to go anywhere, I think he's likely to go into the, the Premier Division and likely to go to a very good club in the Premier Division as well. So he's only going to get better. I mean, people are commenting about, you know, being a little bit greedy over the weekend and maybe carrying the ball too much, which I would agree with to a degree as well. But the player is creating nearly all of his own chances, is working really, really hard for the team and he'll start scoring goals again. His numbers this season have been phenomenal. So Leeds have that there as well. So big clubs would be interesting to create some of it. I would imagine a return to Feyenoord is probably out of the equation if they can't afford him in the Championship. They're probably not going to be able to afford him in the Premier Division. So that's that one. And then the final one today to talk about is Jack Harrison's been speaking. And Jack Harrison has a habit of, when he does start speaking, of putting his foot in his mouth when it comes to do with Leeds United. This time around, he seems to have avoided that situation. But he has been speaking and admitted that he's very happy. Uh, uh, he's very happy currently at Everton. Harrison was speaking after their draw with Spurs at the weekend where he played a more central position than a wing position for the club and he said that he's enjoyed that as well. Harrison basically has said about the club that it's a fantastic group of players and he's enjoying the different style of football. That He also went on to say that it's great to be part of the club and he's really happy at the moment. Jack Harrison's mum was caught on camera just earlier season being asked about what Trent Leeds when she said not a chance, uh, which put him in a very difficult position. But he has commented on being part of a team that is... Um, respected by the fans and is uh, followed by the fans and it's refreshing to have that which kind of felt like a dig against Leeds United fans if nothing else a very silly comment for Jackie to make Harrison has come in for some criticism from Everton fans about his inconsistency which shock horror we've heard that before haven't we um, he did comment though on the fact that over the last couple of seasons, surviving relegation builds a certain amount of character and makes you strong mentally. And he commented that this Everton group have that mentality and he's very happy to be part of that group. Now, whether Jack Harrison goes to Everton on a permanent deal before the summer is yet to be seen. Everton are under very strong financial restrictions right now and potentially looking at a second FFP points deduction of in and around six points, I believe is the rumoured number there, which would put them into the relegation zone. Whether Jackie would stick around for relegation, we saw what he did with Leeds when Leeds were relegated remains to be seen uh, he is joining football there at the moment he's playing reasonably well but there has been some local criticism from fans around him um, inconsistencies but we've seen that with Jackie before we know we know when it comes into the, the weather months of the year Jackie can go missing for a little bit by the end of the season he'll probably come out of it again but yeah it's looking very very unlikely that Jack Harrison will come back to Leeds there is very little in terms of an option to buy in Jack Harrison's deal or what's going on with his contract that's been kept pretty quiet so we'll have to wait and see but um, yeah Looks like Jack Harrison, if he could make the choice, he would stay where he is right now. And that's going to be it for me today, folks. Massive thanks, as always, for supporting the channel and sticking with me. And I will be back tomorrow morning for more of these news. Have a great day. Talk to you then. See you. Bye.